the number of moles is equal to volume 50 milliliter and you know 50 milliliter is 1 over uh, 1 uh, liter divided by 1000 milliliter times 0 0.4 molar which is really 0 0.4 moles per liter so the liter and this liter is going to cancel out this milliliter and this milliliter is going to cancel out in giving me this zero is going to cancel this one so we'll have uh, 0 0.05 times 0 0.4 moles or let us see what that uh, is the value uh, let me put it up a little bit above we have 0 0.05 times 0 0.4 so that is equal to 0 0.02 so 0 0.02 moles. Well as you can see point zero two is a really small number so what will go we are going to multiply that with uh, you know 1000 to make it millimoles so that is going to be you know point zero two times 1000 and so that will remove one two and it will create one uh, zero after two so it is going to do 20 millimoles. Okay, so now we have uh, 20 millimole of this. Uh, okay, so let me put this uh, moles of HPO4H PO4 2 minus is equal to that many millimoles. Right? So if I need to convert all of this into this H2PO4, then I need 20 millimoles of the acid. So this is how it is going to happen. I have this HPO4 2 minus and I have to have the acid. This is going to be a strong acid so it reacts all of it to give you this uh, H2PO4 minus now. Right. So for as you can see it is one mole of HPO4 2 minus will react with one mole of H plus to give you one mole of H2PO4 minus. So for 20 millimole you need another 20 millimole. Okay. So that will give you uh, 20 millimole of the uh, H2PO4 minus at that point. Right. So this is the first portion that we need uh, 20 millimole of acid to convert the HPO4 2 minus to H2PO4 minus. Okay, so that is the first step. Once we have the H2PO4 that is not just enough. See, we, as we already mentioned, we need to have H3PO4 along with H2PO4 minus. So we have just made H2PO4 minus 20 millimole. But how much of this H2PO4 uh, minus needs to be converted into H3PO4? Now, for that, we have to use, uh, we have to look at the uh, Henderson Hasselbeck equation. If you remember, Get a different color and the Henderson Hasselbeck equation. If you remember, let me write it down. Uh, and it tells you that the pH is equal to pKa plus. Uh, log of the conjugate base we are going to write just B divided by the acid the weak acid we have 
So in this situation we have the pH that we need to make is going to be 2. Right? And the pKa of the acid of this system is over here 2.12. So the pKa is now 2.12 and then we have this log of um, B over A. So log of B over A at that time is then going to be uh, 2 is left. Now we have just uh, put it on as a 2 and then the 2.12 when it goes to the other side becomes minus 2.12 so that is equal to minus 0 0.12 so the B over A at the time is going to be the anti-log of uh, minus 0.12 which we can write uh, 10 to the power minus 0.12 okay so what is that value uh, of okay so what we do we have this uh, let me uh, clear this we have 0.12 and then we have to make it minus and then 10 to the power x of that so it becomes really uh, 0.7585 so what we'll do we'll see is 0.76 so that is equal to uh, 0 0.76 so the B in this case the conjugate base as you can see is really the uh, H2PO4 minus so what we can write over here is that conjugate base which as we have already mentioned uh, H2 PO4 minus divided by H3PO4 that ratio this has to be 0 0.76 so we have just got only H2PO4 from that we need to convert some of this H2PO4 minus into the H3PO4 such that the ratio of this and that becomes 0 0.76 right? so this is so now uh, how do do that once we have that so now we need to convert this H2PO4 so let me write that and we are going to uh, H2PO4 minus and I'm going to use a limited quantity of H plus to get this H3PO4 and you see again this is a strong acid so we are using uh, one-sided arrow so the initial concentration of the H2PO4 minus that we have is 20 millimoles we write that so I'm really creating the ice chart so we have 20 millimole and the limiting amount let us say is X because that is what we need to calculate okay and that will give us uh, initially there is none of that right? initially zero so now the change of concentration that will happen is you know X so it will the H2PO4 minus concentration will decrease by minus X and you know this is going to decrease also to create plus X mole of the H3PO4 so after uh, all the chains that has to happen has happened then we will we'll be left with 20 minus X millimole of this H2PO4 minus and all of that is going to be used up and we will have this X millimole of H3PO4 and as you can see we have already uh, calculated the uh, concentration of H2PO4 minus which is, is the 20 minus X 